Hello, my name is Johanna Bradley, and I'm the Senior Director of Sales and Marketing for the Industrial Business at Avery Products Corporation. I began working at Avery about two weeks after graduating from a women's college in Claremont uh, and started in finance for a couple of years, progressed into customer marketing, working with large accounts um, in increasing levels of responsibility. I ended up leaving Avery for about five years to work at Warner Home Video to try kind of a different industry and spread my wings a bit, ultimately coming back to Avery Products Corporation in about 2009 um, and getting higher up in the customer marketing organization, managing and directing a team. And in the last year and a half, uh, moving into the industrial business specifically, combining both the sales and marketing roles into one division and uh, running a team of about seven people in business development, breaking into a new channel and a new category. I spent about two years in finance and that has been so beneficial to me throughout my career because ultimately understanding the way that finance works and the way that we cost products and the way that we uh, look at our profitability has been beneficial in sales, in marketing, and uh, honestly in everything that I do. It's a great way to kind of build a foundation for a strong uh, career. Then uh, working with customers really built my confidence and working with strong salespeople and mentors in that capacity um, helped me to gain that confidence to become more of a leader in the organization, um, feel confident in my negotiation skills and my uh, point of view. You might think of Avery as a large corporation, but actually we're made up of a number of small businesses, particularly the industrial team, because we are an emerging business. We operate as a startup, as an entrepreneurial startup, and have the ability to explore many cross-functional roles, meet all kinds of new people, and grow a business from the ground up. So what Avery Industrial is, Really, we saw an opportunity as an organization to leverage our incredible research, uh, product development, and testing skills, material skills, and the expertise we have in adhesive, in materials, in print functionality, and there's a huge need in the industrial space for that kind of capability. And we've been developing it for over 40 years. So uh, now we're able to bring that expertise into the industrial space for applications such as chemical labeling, warehouse labeling, safety and precautionary signage and labeling, tags. I've actually been working on Avery Industrial since uh, 2016 and uh, at the inception it was an area that we were really investigating and seeing if there was a need and a fit there for our capabilities. It was just uh, myself and one other saleswoman involved at the beginning and it was um, really a matter of cold calling and running out uh, with these great products that had been developed and seeing if there was a fit and if there was a need and also discovering that the industrial channel does operate in a different way than our traditional office products channel in terms of the distributor partners as well as stocking inventory. Um, we went to a lot of trade shows, we met with a lot of new distributors who we hadn't spoken with before and really started to understand the need for a broader uh, sales team with industrial experience and background. One of my favorite things about working with the industrial team is that we are consistently laughing. We have so much fun. <laughs> We're growing the business, we're working really hard, but it's great quality people, not only on my team, but also the customers and the consumers that we work with. Uh, I don't think I've ever had as much fun in a position as I have in this industrial role with such great personalities. I think particularly in a sales leadership role in the industrial space, a challenge that I faced is building relationships with uh, key folks in both the supply channel and as well as the end user channel um, and being taken seriously when a lot of these people in the industrial channel have had relationships over many, many years. It tends to be largely male dominated. Um, there's a number of times I've been asked if I'm the assistant of one of my national account managers <laughs> or uh, another similar position and he informs them that I'm actually his manager. <laughs> and we build from there. Um, it's not difficult striking up conversation. Everyone's very friendly and outgoing, but as we really start talking about setting up 
actual business practices and becoming distribution partners or becoming consumers, um, I find that it sometimes is more natural to defer to my male counterparts. So the way I've worked to overcome that is with consistency and ensuring that my voice is heard. Um, I think once I've proven myself in that situation to have a base of knowledge and to have insights that can help us both grow our business, I've been able to uh, build those relationships and start to become more of a, a normalized player in the industrial space. I think something that triggers gender inequality or discrimination in specific industries or job environments is just history. It's a historical bias of uh, being male dominated and being comfortable in that space. And some folks may not be aware or uh, realize the importance of having a diverse group of voices and leaders in that space. So it feels like the best advice as a solution to that is as an organization, making sure that there is room for all voices, even if it's a largely male-led organization, find those female leaders and make sure that they are able to lead important projects, have their voice shared and build kind of that awareness. I feel very fortunate to have spent my career at Avery largely because uh, I haven't felt that I have been discriminated or suppressed in my growth uh, based on being a female. I think some of the specific things that have aided that is we, unlike many companies in this space, have many female leaders. When I first began at Avery, our president was a female and was very open and welcoming and uh, receiving to work with very young, green uh, professionals like myself. And then as I've continued throughout my career, I've been greatly mentored and supported not only by female, but also male leaders. And uh, I really haven't felt that my career path was stagnated or changed uh, by being a female, but I also recognize that that's an exceptional situation and one that should and could be more mimicked and replicated uh, in broader society. One of the things that organizations can do to ensure that they're cultivating female leaders is ensure that multiple management styles are appreciated and respected. I don't think we live in a world where it's a one-size-fits-all management style anymore. And if a woman or a man has a different leadership style that's effective, then organizations need to be able to recognize that and support that. And I feel like that's something that Avery has done throughout my career for each leader, for each person, as long as we're meeting specific objectives and uh, metrics and performance reviews are coming in strong, we really have the opportunity to lead in any way that we see fit. I can guarantee my leadership style is very different from um, some other men and women in the organization. I actually left Avery for about five years and ended up returning. And one of the primary reasons why I ended up returning is because in the Avery environment, I feel supported and as though all of us at all levels work to grow the business together. Um, in some other positions, it seemed a little more build yourself up by breaking others down, and I've never experienced that at Avery. At Avery, it feels as though we're all working towards a common goal and are able to uh, support each other and build each other up in order to build ourselves up as well. Uh, the people are fantastic and I've been given new opportunities that keep my job fresh and exciting and I consistently get to learn and grow at this organization. Advice I would give to someone starting out in a largely male-dominated space like sales, finance, or specifically in the office products or industrial channel is don't be afraid to let your voice be heard. Have confidence in what you say, even if you need to say it two or three times, uh, and believe that what you are adding to the conversation and to the business discussion is relevant and important. I think what I see most with both women in my family as well as women in my team is um, the need to be supported in finding their voice and finding their confidence. 
I believe we sometimes even have to fake the confidence when we don't always have it to begin with in order to ensure that our voices are heard. It's very easy to get lost as a woman in a conversation, in an organization, in an educational environment. So what I encourage both my employees as well as my family to do is make sure that they're heard even if you have to speak loudly or you have to repeat yourself multiple times even if you're not certain that what you're saying is exactly right you have an important point of view that you need to share i believe as women we need to build that type of confidence and voice and work to be heard and to demonstrate uh, our capabilities and not be diminished in the way that we communicate or express ourselves. I um, have worked with a number of women who have shared with me that when they're ready to share something in a meeting or a discussion, they begin to second guess themselves or um, overthink how is this going to be perceived, um, what, how will it be taken, and by the time that they've kind of worked all that out in their minds, uh, someone else has either said the same thing already or, uh, or the discussion has moved on. So they're missing the opportunity to really be heard and be, in, be seen with their valuable opinions. So advice I've given is, again, that it's okay to not always say the right thing, just say it. So I guess thinking about just advice in general, um, be open to find out you know, what your capabilities are uh, as a female or a male <laughs> and uh, find out what you're passionate about and what you enjoy.